Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Real Estate Talk Show. I am here with Jerry Arnini, and he is a partner with Arnini Stellato Chartered Professional Accountants. And we're here in his beautiful boardroom, and we're talking taxes. And you need to stick around for this because we're getting a lot of tips and advice. And we're going to focus now about the myths regarding taxes that a lot of us Canadians... Uh, just seem to be kind of unaware of and uh, and certainly I think we need to clarify and uh, we've got about eight points here So you ready sure. to go through them? Yeah, cool. All right, I got my notes in front of me So I make sure I don't miss anything here. We go myth number one the person whose name or social insurance number is on the tax slip is the person who must report the interest in a joint account as a minimum that person does have to um, report the income, but you follow the money so basically follow the money follow the money All so right. basically if both spouses put money into this bank account or, or gic or whatnot or investment and the income is earned that income should be split unfortunately with our slips so there's 50 50 all, that's in this, right in this province right, right. 50 50. so unfortunately okay. what happens is there's only room for one name most of the time you can put in trust or joint with right but there's only one social insurance number that goes on the slip. So that's the misconception. So, so if both, if it's family income, if it's family money that's getting put in into an investment, then you would split the income. Okay, very good. How about myth number two? The CRA completely agrees with the information you submitted in your return if it sends you back a notice of assessment that doesn't dispute what you submitted. Well, basically, a uh, notice of assessment just says, we received your tax return, we're going to accept it the way you filed it, but we have the right to go back and look, review, audit. For, we have the right to do that for the next three years. So basically, you, you file your 2014 tax return. Let's say you get your notice of assessment May the 31st, 2015. Um, Revenue Canada has till May the 31st, 2018 to come in and audit that tax return. Okay. After that date, the tax return becomes statute barred. So after three years, normally the government can't come back and look at that tax return unless they've determined there's fraud. If they've determined fraud, um, then they can go back to any year they want, as far back as they can. Number three, gifts from your employer are never taxable. That's, that's true in the sense that gifts are limited to $500 and non-cash gifts. I need to stop giving so many gifts. That's it. That's so, what you get back? It, that's it. <laughs> you, you can only give a gift um, and anything over $500 becomes a taxable benefit. And if you give a $500 cash gift, that's also taxable in the hands of the employee. So it has to be non-cash and under $500. Okay. All right. Anything over. But you know what? Giving gifts is still a really important thing. So you know what? Keep doing that. All right. Myth four. I should have refused that pay raise because it will bump me into a higher tax bracket. Heard that one many times. Never refuse a pay raise. <laughs> Who's going to say no to money? You, what you do is you do the math. I, you know what? Everything is marginal tax rates. So the money, let's say you're at the bottom marginal tax rate, that money is always going to be taxed at that lower rate. It's the increment that gets taxed at the higher rate. So not you're the full amount. Not the full so amount. So once you go to, what are the increments now? Or oh, I mean, they're, just, they're all over the place. They're all over 30, now. 38. I mean, okay. there's a whole table. I mean, I don't okay. So them you'll off, be but taxed that amount up to correct. that rate. And then whatever is above that, that becomes That's the tax, next tax that bracket. That's right. The next tax bracket. So, okay. you know, if, again, never say no to money. And if you don't need the raise, because you're going to say no to it, which I don't believe anybody would ever do, mm -hmm. just put that money into your RSP. That's so you just idea. save the tax on that money. Uh, and defer it till you need the money out of your RSP. Because eventually you will pay tax on that money. You will. Let's be real. Okay, but it can grow tax-free. Correct. Which is a wonderful thing. All right, myth five. The U.S. does not impose withholding taxes on U.S. investments if they're held in registered Canadian accounts. Well, <clears throat> we don't do U.S. tax here, but there are withholding taxes. There's, there's treaties that'll be followed. Um, so any money is going cross-border. There, there, you have to follow the treaty, but you know, nine times out of 10, there's going to be withholding taxes. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Myth number six, employment insurance income received during maternity leave is not taxable. No, it's income and income is taxable. And again, that's a slip that's going to the government. Going back to what I said before about not claiming slips on your personal Let's tax go there return. Again. That's right. So you're going to get, you're going to get a slip, a T4E, right? Showing your employment or unemployment income. 
employment insurance income, and then any taxes withheld on it, and that goes in your personal tax return. Yeah. So it's income. And it's you better a, make sure that slip gets included correct. in your little bundle of goodness. That's right. Otherwise, it's a ten percent penalty. Because otherwise, a ten percent penalty on that amount of the value of the slip. Unbelievable. All right. How about this myth number seven? If you file your taxes online, your odds of being audited increase. No. How would they measure that? I mean, no, that's... they don't. Basically, um, as professionals now, uh, for the last few years, we have to e-file everyone's tax returns. So everything goes in pretty much now, unless it's super complicated or whatever. So e-file is electronically? Everything, electron yeah. electron everything okay. is electronically filed. All right. So basically, unless you're doing something that raises a flag with the government, that's where you're going to get audited. And you may they'll, they'll do random audits as well. So no, filing electronically or, or you know uh, on the internet will not increase your odds again unless you do, you've done something wrong. Okay, let's go to this one. Last one, myth number eight: the Canada Revenue Agency doesn't pay snitches. Okay. Who wants to be a snitch? No. Who wants to be a snitch? Wants to be a and snitch. that's like the worst thing you can do. No, it doesn't matter how much you may dislike somebody. Right. Well, what none happens of your business. Is, what happens is. Um, on our, as a professional, um, if something's being missed on someone's tax return, mm -hmm. uh, the taxpayer always has uh, the option of doing what's called voluntary disclosure. Voluntary, voluntary disclosure. disclosure. So we, we, you know, amass the numbers, we go to the government, say this amount of income was inadvertently missed uh, for whatever reason, and uh, what you will have to do is pay the tax on that money, and you will pay the interest, but they will waive the penalties. Okay. In most cases. I mean, as long as everything is done right. properly. Okay. Now, the snitch line is more, you find it more, you might get it from disgruntled people, employees and whatnot. And I believe Revenue Canada in 2014 put a snitch program in place and they'll pay, uh, they'll actually pay a percentage of tax collected. Only the tax, not the penalties, not the interest. Mm. Um, anywhere from 5 to 15%, whatever it is, but it's to totally to their discretion. Right. Right. You, you can't go to the government and say, oh, my boss is doing this, give me 15%. It's not going to happen. So let's not make a career out of this. That's right. No. Uh, honestly, uh, I really believe that it's already tough enough because unfortunately in law, you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. Uh, but unfortunately, because of our lovely technology uh, society and the fact that everything gets out there so quick, uh, most people already get to, uh, you know, to an assumption that uh, you know, people guilt. are off of guilt. <laughs> and with taxes, well, I just think that you're guilty until you're proven innocent, it seems like. That's Sometimes. just my impression. There's the rules. You got yeah, a lot of work right. to prove the fact that That's you've right. done nothing wrong. That's right. So with that being said, because the last thing we want is people, I mean, taxes is a personal thing and, and everybody should be doing and paying their part. And their part, not above, not below. I mean, it should be fair across the board for everybody. So what can we do as Canadians to make sure that we do our taxes in a timely manner and more importantly that we, because it is a pain and that's why people are getting penalties is because it takes a long time and is there are things that we can do to help us and I certainly know hiring, hiring a professional like yourself makes all the difference in the world because you have the team of people that'll say ah you know what we need this oh can you have this uh, oh actually a copy of this would be great uh, you forgot to submit this um, you just keep us on point that's what we try to do and you get us prepped for the next year yeah. but what can we do for people that are still whether they're working with somebody or not to make sure we get this done on well, a timely manner? going back on what you said as a firm we send out a checklist every okay. tax season to our clients so they have a whole checklist of things to go through um, but you know basically in most cases if you if you're self-employed or whatever mm -hmm. if you're real estate commissions mm -hmm. you know if you spend a dollar to earn a dollar you should be able to deduct it with certain exceptions there's rules with respect to auto expenses and uh, meals and entertainment and whatnot mm -hmm. but what's good to do is even on a monthly basis just keep track of all your expenses file them away um, and then at the end of the year to save yourself fees even from professionals if you can just tally up your expenses okay. by category and then bring everything into your account and you have if you have any type of self-employment income you have till june 15th to file your tax return okay. but the taxes are due april 30th so even though your tax return is due june 15th you're going to have to do installments or sort of estimate uh what your tax bill is going to be and have that money in before the end of april otherwise Otherwise, there's penalties. Penalties. Really, their interest and maybe the penalties that we're talking about there would be installment uh, penalties, deficient installments. Mm -hmm. So, but there's not, there won't be penalties if you file your tax return by June the 15th. All right, very good. Okay. And I think there is a whole other opportunity for us to touch upon HST and GST. 
Uh, so I think certainly we'll have to get you back in, or I guess we'll come to this fantastic boardroom. Sure, you're welcome anytime. <laughs> and we'll talk about HST, and uh, I always say GST just because that's... You know, it's still around. No, GST is, is still, no, GST, is, GST, pardon me, is still around. Okay. Uh, Quebec, we use GST. Um, Alberta uses GST. So there, there is just okay. So I'm just going to keep saying because it's habit for me. But Jerry, remind everybody how can they get a hold of you to be able to utilize your fantastic company services? Our website is www.aslp.com. Okay. Uh, my email address is grnini. That's G A R N I N I at A as in Apple, S as in Sam, L as in Larry, L as in Larry. P as in Peter dot com. I say that because <laughs> it, everyone always makes a mistake on that. So it's A S L L P dot com. Very good. And our number here is 905 663 5000. My extension is 250, or you can hit zero for our receptionist and she can hunt anyone down that you need. Jerry Arnini, you are the best. Thanks. Thanks for hanging out. So are you. <laughs> <laughs> It would seem really odd if you didn't say that, right? <laughs> All right, everybody, we'll be right back.